Hi there everyone! Hey! Hello. Hello! Welcome to a Spring TV Show 2019. We're on the road again. We've been on loose state of Canik and oh, we've yeah. the good ladies have loosed us out. And for the second part of a Spring TV Show, we're in Bristol! Whoa! Oh, good old Bristol! Be we're the road, road. Yeah. We've been here a few times, haven't we? Yeah. And we're pleased to announce a special guest is a new star, rising star, British young, country, good looking. young stud. He makes us look good there. Yeah, yeah. We'll get all these new young females, or you know, yeah. males, depends which way he goes. You know, yeah. that's the way yeah. you know. We don't know that. We don't know that, but that's personal. He's, that's he's, personal. He's definitely a lady pleaser. And you know what? Oh, he pleases me, and I've only just met him. Then what? <laughs> Please welcome on stage at Puzzle Maker Studio. Yeah. Cracking studio, this is. Yeah, beautiful. Please, will you welcome on board? And we'll get rid of these boys. Mr. Danny McMahon! Hey! hey. Oh, go on, so move, move, shit! Come on, let the way! Oh, good. Oh, right. Let the star in, let the star in. Let the star in. Let the in. <laughs> Look at this good looking lad here. Yeah. What hey, the hell is this? <laughs> hey! I wish you'd, I used to be here, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you use that washing you, you wash it when it wins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Slander start already, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard, mate. Thank you, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. On this madness, you'll regret it. Yeah. At the end of the day. <laughs> you really will. But it's a joy to have you and the Levis come to your studio. This is Danny's own studio, so any singer songwriters or anything, get in touch. Yeah, please do. Puzzle please Maker do. Studios. Puzzle Maker Studios. In YouTube, Bristol. no advertisement. You know what I mean. So <laughs> you know we're advertising nothing. You know what I mean. So, uh, so thanks again, mate. No worries. Uh, how did your career start? And what got you into uh, write original songs? Oh gosh, so yeah, so I actually started basically writing music really young. Uh, I was 15 and I got <clears> signed to my first record deal when I was 16. Um, and that was doing like sort of rock music. So yeah. I had a lot of experiences, uh, very young with that kind of stuff. And then just sort of uh, a couple of years... Music? Yeah, pardon? I said nothing wrong with rock music. Nothing wrong with rock music at all. Um, and then a couple of years later, I got picked up by uh, Paramount Publishing. So I did uh, some, basically, with working as a commercial songwriter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing some, yeah, basically, that's how I learned how to write country music. Mm -hmm. Then I discovered Brad Paisley a couple of years yeah. after that. Can you, can you tell me, we're on the 35th album, can you tell me how to write country music? Because <laughs> 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 people say, I wish you'd write some country music. That ain't country. <laughs> that ain't country. <laughs> but I must admit, like, turn and say, um, I found out about you last year, and it was through the UKCountryRadio.com. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. awesome. And yeah, I believe you you won the award. I did, year. yeah. I won again. I won again. Yeah. He's a good friend of our old mate Wayne Jacobs. I know <laughs> Alan Award again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of these days, lads, working with these true songwriters, we might win some with you. Yeah. One day. We well, ain't got no chance with them, have you? I know these young ones. They're a wall. Plus he's good looking. You know what I mean? That can't choose that, then, don't it? Yeah, true. Um, so I'll carry on, man. We really interrupt you. So that's all right. Music, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I was basically working with a few guys there, and then I so sort of like learned my craft there, and decided, you know what, I'm going to go and be a, a writer myself. So mm -hmm. I just discovered Brad Paisley first and foremost. Yeah. It was a song called Letter to Me mm -hmm. that I was just completely blown away. It was it was super real, <clears throat> really really honest, and loved his voice. And I was like, you know, I want to do that, but I never had the guts for a for a little while to actually go out and do it as an artist. I thought I'm, just, I'm comfortable writing it for other people. 30 odd years ago we were the same because back then you had country music clubs in every corner. Yeah. You had festivals you could trip over. Yeah. But we wanted to be original and you had to do all covers by then. Yeah. And we were the same and we used to go on stage and do one of our own songs but said it's covered by this person, that person just to get it over there. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but it's a joy nowadays to see the young acts coming through and the doing original material because we're behind you 110 percent thank you man. and it's fantastic i bought you two eps absolutely brilliant uh, i've said this to all our acts young acts that's been on the show that hopefully in years to come when you've made it and you're a superstar we could say we knew him when am i right boys do you yes. know what i mean before he got famous before he got famous <laughs> <laughs> and then he could turn around and say who who, who? <laughs> not at all uh, not at all but you your two EPs, man, absolutely fantastic. Thank you, really good. Thank you. And um, but we'd like to do your first song. And what's the story behind this song? Yeah, so uh, this was a, a, a slightly older song. It was uh, 
it was a heartbreak song. I sort of like in, invented a little bit of a scenario with this one. But we all do that. We all yeah, do that. totally, to totally. Uh, again, it was uh, like some of my other songs. I, I wrote this when I was sort of aiming to pitch it to other people, and mm -hmm. I decided I went over to I went over to Nashville in September or October. Time. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, I was working with uh, working with the producer over there, and he said to me, he was like, "Look, play me everything you got, mm -hmm. every country song you've ever written, play it to me." And uh, I played him this one. Uh, I've got my producer over here to send over the demo that we put together and he was like man I love it that's, yeah. you've got to push that that's got to go on your next yeah. record so yeah that's brilliant yeah. Um, like you said with Nashville because we've over the years we've been involved in Nashville we've never Ganawick so I've never flown but I'm flying for the first time this year in the boys yeah. and the and, um, white bird but our music's going over there we've got an uh, independent charts and everything so when your awesome. song does get to Nashville it's absolutely brilliant yeah but to go over there it's a dream come true and it's good to see the young ones like yourself going over mm -hmm. taking that choice and believing in their own original songs mm. and um but here's Danny's first song ladies and gentlemen and uh I'm looking forward to hearing this myself is this a brand new one yeah it's a brand new one yeah it's brand and new it's one. called everything everything, <laughs> everything ladies and gentlemen Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. What about To tattoo on my shoulder, but every day the we grow older, I can tell you love me a little less. I can't hide it, but that don't mean that I like it. I can't find your moving on the sun.
Hey, got some lungs on him, mate. Yeah, that's me. What's yeah. that? Well, what I mean, man. What kind of You can't, boy. yes, what a lad. <laughs> Good looks. No. Everything. No more than five. Mark. 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 Thanks for that, man. No worries, man. No worries. That's how you sing, by the way. Can you make me do the duet with him? Oh, you know what I mean? Can do. Where's your <laughs> That was brilliant, I enjoyed that. Thank you. Is that, is that good on the brand new EP? That is on the brand new EP, yes, it's going to be the first track on the new EP. Yeah. Must go out and buy it, by the way. Yeah. Boy's first two EPs, I tell you that, because they're absolutely brilliant. All original. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have the new ones. I just bought the first one. You've got to buy the rest as well. Yeah, we've got the, they've got the two as well, you see. Alright. Oh, right. For the collection. For the oh, collection. For the collection. Right. Make me rich, innit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got 35 hours and we're still poor over there. No rolls, roses, no rolls off. What made you get into country music, mate? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was the, the, the main thing that really sort of twisted it for me as a country artist was when I went to C2C 2017. Yeah. Um, I saw a guy called Chase Bryant on the Saturday morning, it, you know, it was like half eleven and there was about like, it, the room wasn't even half full. No. But I listened to him, I discovered him online through uh, through Spotify I think it was. Yes. Uh, and I was just like, oh my god, that that is... Uh, I hadn't been to that many live country gigs at that point. And it really, really struck me. I was like, he's so again. It was the same thing as with Brad Paisley. He was so honest, so real. Inspired uh, you, really? Yeah, it was yeah. really inspiring. It was yeah. really a really, a really inspiring moment. Like, I loved his songwriting. He was a great vocalist, great guitarist. It, it gave me something to work towards and aim yeah. towards. We all need inspiration when people to inspire you, really, because that's just all about. Because I don't care what anybody says. You learn and pinch from everybody. Of course you do. do. Do you know what I mean? I mean but, you, you was Elvis, were you? I was the Elvis, and then it was Raymond from Froggy. Froggy, 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 Froggy yeah. at the beginning because. The British country music scene then, he was the only one, and occasionally other acts would do their own material, mm. but he was the one who would only do his own songs, and he was the one who gave me inspiration. Now it's just like writing a book. What's the point if you're writing a book if you don't want nobody to see it? There's no point. No, there isn't. So, and that was the thing, but you will get the inspiration by going along and by pinching stuff and being inspired by somebody straight up. But it's brilliant, mate, because it really, I've seen you, on your videos, yeah, and I've, of course, I've listened to you on the the EPs and everything, and that was outstanding, wasn't it, boys? Yeah, it was it was really nice. Nice. Hey, can you imagine that? This, the same guys be going, whop it down a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to have a little bit of a break to give Danny time to have a bit of refreshment, and then we'll be back, and with some more songs by Mr. Danny. McMahon is that crushed it. Yeah. Crushed it. See you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.